DJ wasn't the lazy type, but sure wasn't the clever one either. So when it came to work, he could combine a dozen shitty jobs. Even the ones that looked more like suicide than jobs. Yet, he kept on going, handling the pain, the insults, and the sexploitation. But when his sister got sick, to the extent of dying, he had to find another way to cope with his life. He was helped by a friend who didn't have much else to do. That's when he fell into the dirty underworld of gambling and had to swim with the big fish. In a world where everything has a cost, where everything has a price, where money has no smells, Didi had to be determined. No retreat, no surrender. He had to open it big and wide. And when he won, some people really got upset. The dirtiest lads decided to pay him a little visit. and give his sister some fresh air. Uh, sorry guys, but I've got some really bad news for you. You have to be very strong. What the fuck is going on, Doc? They farted her to death. We found you and we'll feed you your boys to death. You hear me, Marie-Cat and Ashley? For DJ, revenge is a dish best served at rectal temperature. So he started to cook the best of happy meals. For starters, colon consomme. With a little bit of shit, and piss, and shit again. Meanwhile, the Da Silva brothers decided to train their stomach for the worst. <laughs> DJ was still tracking the other bad guys. The second one he'd catch would be for dessert. <laughs> Floating island of eyes on brain custard. The two brothers were restless, inflicting on their bodies more pain than usual. The main course, roasted bastard wrapped in flambéed leather. The Silva brothers would eat loads of oil to fill up their tank. And for liqueur, Didier thought squirt cocktail could really be refreshing. Feed to kill. Bon appetit. Coming soon to the nearest theater.